Hi everybody, as you can tell, it is a gorgeous day. We're right at the top of high tide. The water is fairly clear, a little tea stained, uh, but it should be perfect for uh, two of the baits that we're gonna try today. And that's really the goal of today, is really a test out too. Now one is a known. Uh, it is my DOA Cal Figgy Chicken. I'm gonna use the uh, chartreuse head on there, but what I found is the head, if it's chartreuse or black, really doesn't make too big a difference. The second though is, you know I've been looking for a shrimp, and the reason why I'm going away from a voodoo shrimp is because that shrimp is made out of TPE, and uh, you can't combine that with other plastics. And on this uh, kayak, I'm really trying to get extremely efficient, so I don't want to even have to carry an additional container for bait. So today, I broke out the package, and we're gonna try a DOA shrimp and I'm trying it in natural colors that's my favorite uh, to use and so today I'm trying the clear out and we're gonna see how it compares now I'm not sure how the fish are biting today but there is a little bit of a current and uh, it's high tide starting to go to low now as usual I don't have very long to fish but uh, we're gonna try out these two baits and see what we can do so stay tuned let's see what we can catch If you're new to the channel, please uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell in order to be informed of more marsh video action. Become a kayak fishing addict yourself and get your fix by clicking on that bell. Stay tuned. All right guys, so we're heading out. It's a little bit windy coming in, the wind. It's always a beautiful sight here in Ormond Beach to fish. I'm going to the just some known, I wanted to fish known waters uh, so that I had an opportunity to just vary the bait. And I've got a known bait, my DOA Cal Figgy Chicken, which is my number one top bait. And then I've got this uh, DOA Shrimp that I'm gonna try today too. So uh, the difference in those two baits, honestly, I've, I've had a couple of shrimp. I've caught a few fish on shrimp artificial shrimp, uh, but the vast majority of the fish that I catch are on the uh, DOA Cal Shad uh, paddle tail. And I think that's just mainly because, it's first it's a great bait, but second, it is the style of fishing that I do. I like to fish pretty fast, cast, retrieve, cast, retrieve, cast, retrieve. If I don't catch something, then I'm usually moving. And I think the shrimp are more set up to, to go a lot slower than that. So I would say that the uh, DOA Cal Shad um, baits, paddle tail baits, are maybe medium to fast fishing. And the uh, shrimp is slow to medium fishing. And so today I'm gonna try to remember that and may, may not move as fast as I normally do um, but we'll see what happens it's always a good day out here on the water instead of starting with my favorite bait I'm gonna try this uh, DOA Cal uh, shrimp it's a clear natural color it does have some specks in it wonder if that's just dirt or something from the manufacturing process but uh, shouldn't affect the the bait too much. Now I'm using a clear so you can kind of tell in this stained water the silhouette is nice. You can see it over there with the white eyes but it's a clear natural color and I know a lot of this is getting the color and the presentation right. Got one, got one, ha <laughs> ha. 
What do you know? Must be a redfish. <laughs> well, there you go. DOA cow, our DOA shrimp, pulls in our first one. He's pulling me around too. Let's move with him here. He tapped it, and then I could, before I could set the hook, and then he came back for it a second bite. Him. There we go. Let's up our drag a little bit. Yeah, that's only the third fish I've ever caught on a shrimp. He is. Looks to be a pretty good one. I have to tighten up my drag to bring him in. now. Uh-oh. I think I got my drag. Oh, it's, oh, it's a jack. What do you know? Little jack. Little Jack Russell. Jack Crevail. <laughs> jack Russell. Jack Russell is a dog. All right, we got a little Jack Crevail. Pretty fish. There you go. Get my drag set back. Little Jack Crevail. He took it. We were the first. Little, not even a little Jack. He's a decent size. We're back here in the marsh, the marsh jack. He took it too. Got a good hook set on him. All right, buddy. Croaking. I think that means he's a male. Give me a couple feet. He's definitely good on the board. It's so nice to play the game. Yeah. So that's probably... I don't really catch too many jacks. I think it's my second one back here in the marsh. But they don't typically come back here. Let's see. Jack. Yeah. Grunting. Forklift. Fork length. Let's see here if we straighten up there. He's right at 17 pinch tail, 16, 16 and a half inch jack. So, nice little jack prevail. Beautiful fish. Kind of meaty chunk too. If I ate these, that would be a good one. All right. I'll let you go, buddy. Get you back with your friends. Thanks for eating my shrimp. Just need my shrimp back. Boy, you, that hook set is oof, pretty deep. Pretty good hook set there. There you go, buddy. Nice little jack. We're in the current here. So we're good. Oop, you are you're ready to go anyway. There you go. Okay. Well, 
the clear color shrimp works. First, not uh, near clear, I think it's called. I was worried about the color in these waters, but uh, I don't think that Jack Prevail was worried one iota. He thought it was a shrimp and pecked it and then took it. Set the hook and he was on for good. Okay, you just saw me catch a Jack Crevail. Not, not the normal fish that I catch, but it's also not the normal bait that I use. So I'm using just a near clear. Let's see if I can get you a good shot of it. Near clear DOA shrimp. And fishing it a lot slower than I normally fish. Just cast it right maybe 10, 10 feet. 20 feet off of that island there, twitched it a couple of times and got a tap and then a then he took it. Get one? May have gotten one. He was on there before. Yep, I think I got one. Yeah. All right. Yep. He's trying to get off. Oh, nice redfish. Nice keeper redfish. Good. All right. He was swimming with me. Trying to get off. Looks like a keeper. Kind of what we're heading looking for today. You hit it soft, and then when I set the hook, yeah, it's a big one. Good size redfish. How much of a fight, but oh, except for now. Now that he knows he's caught, he was coming along with the water, the current. Come on in here, buddy. There's not much. Oh boy, my drag is. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna be on for a minute. Let's get this guy worn out so he didn't shake that hook. Let's see if we can stake out right here. And help us out a little. He's just hanging out in the current. Coming this way, but he looks pretty big. Love taps. Okay, we gotta get this guy in here. He's not over slot. drag. This is the reel I've been messed up with today. I don't want to play around too much with him. He's coming this way. Let's see if we can get him up. Get him pop up and coming this way. Ah, he's coming this way. There we go. does not want to come in. I want to come in. Oh, I got my shrimp line out there too. Can't be messing around with you too much, buddy. There we go. Landed him. Pretty big redfish. Pretty big. He was hanging out there. All right. That was the goal today. We 
can only keep one. So let's just make sure he's a, not over slot. And if so, we got him. It's like a 20, oh yeah, you were, we're going anywhere, buddy. You were right in the corner of the mount. Look at this guy. It's pretty big. That is a pretty big red flash lock out of here. Two, two spots. Really good red fish. Grunting, I can feel it right now. Two slots, two spots on that side. Two spots on that side. Beautiful guy. Beautiful tail. Thanks for the bite. Let's get this hook out of you. There we go. Let's get you on the board. Confident you're a keeper. Probably 24 is my guess. 25. Twenty-three and three quarters, twenty-three and a half inch redfish. Beautiful, perfect eating size. A little bit larger than the perfect eating size, but uh, good fat belly fish. It's gonna go home. Alright guys, that's our redfish for today. Nice keeper redfish. 23 and a half, 23 and three quarters, almost 24 inch redfish and he's got a belly on him. right off parallel with the uh, with the line of this bank here in front of us and just pulled back the paddle tail felt a tap because he was swimming in the same direction let it sit for just maybe a second he took it and then I set the hook and it was perfectly right in the corner of his mouth so that's the goal for today get that one redfish Hey guys, I don't know what that was, but likely, potentially a gator. <laughs> Whatever it was, dove in the water real quick when I came by. It's sitting back there, I have no idea. It's just so fast moving. Huh.